Welcome to another episode of Factorio! Starting it off with a Mountain Dew Rise Energy. Oh, that pomegranate blue burst. Yes. Yeah, acquiring a taste for that one. Okay, on this episode, I put it off long enough. It is time to go after production science packs. To get there, we need rails, electric furnace, and productivity modules. We're going to start making rails. Rails take stone, steel, plate, and iron stick. Stone we've got. Steel plate, uh, we still need to start setting up an array. And that's what we're going to do on this episode. Iron sticks? Yeah, they'll be really quick and easy to make. One iron plate makes two iron sticks, and it's a half second crafting time. That's four iron sticks a second. We'll be okay with that one. But that, the rails, and we're going to do it here. I'm in the southwest corner. But an update before we get started on the construction. Um, I went and expanded a little bit. I uh, went in there. Surrounded this crude oil, this iron, and this copper. That uranium patch is just right there, but it'll be a quick bloop out. Um, these guys are getting a little bit too much of a pain in the butt. So uh, I'm going to wait until we get some artillery, clear them out, and then expand it. And then it'll be really easy to do it. Let's see, what else have I done? Oh, yeah. Uh, made sure um, mine, blah, 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 mining operations were on different patches. I even tapped into this stone patch here of 8.8 .8 million, making some stone right there. I can't remember if I told you about this copper one, but we got that going. Uh, extended the boop, iron, uh, the, the iron plate array a little bit. So got that going. So now let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. But now it is steel plates time. And now uh, let's go here. I We need to start with, how about right there? With the unloading here in our grid. Now, I, I'm gonna have it go from right, boom, boom, over there to the left. And to get that going, uh, I filled all of this in with landfill. So we'll get this, this is the grid unloading. And we'll have it go that direction. And we'll get this guy in here. We'll do that. And bots are on. I believe I brought enough material. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, catch up. All 30 of them. And I brought a few extras just in case we got attacked somewhere. But while they're doing that, um, the other thing that has been happening up here on our northern wall, I did it. I went and got a little bit crazy. Lined it all with turrets and flamethrowers, seeing how it works. The train stops. Oh, yeah. See, they're reading the amount of ammo that's in here. The blue wire, boom, to here, to there. I changed it to 200. So if the piercing rounds is less than 200, the train station will be enabled. Basically what happens is as soon as one of these fire and boom, it needs ammo, it'll take it out of here. And oh, I can't open it up. But if you look on the right hand side of the screen, there's 200 rounds in there. So as soon as it goes out, it pulls it back in. The train comes in, tops this off finishes that and it goes off to the next one had that going it's been working pretty good uh, it took a little bit but um, there's more and more biters coming out being a royal pain in the butt uh, let's see what else did I get done here um, uh, bum, bum, bum. we got that we got that oh uh, nope nothing on the oil I did try cracking light oil into um, solid fuel but no, petroleum would back up and then the whole system would back up. So this is working. This setup is working. I like it. It's doing its thing. 
Uh, if I have to extend it out one, uh, again, I can't because of these lines. So I will just copy this and paste it somewhere else. But it is sucking up the solid fuel. Uh, yeah, we're going to run out of oil before we start making plastic in big quantities. Yes, let's see here. Yep, so in the medium term, going after nuclear fuel. Or a rock nuclear, there it is, uranium fuel cells. Boy, man, if I could say that properly. But to get there, uh, the Covarix nuclear fuel processing works. Where's the Covarix enrichment? There it is. Boom, we got to get that. Well, guess what? That takes production science packs. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, production science packs. Yeah, we got to get them. Uh, little by little, they're getting there. And we'll get some uranium rounds. And lasers, uh, I want to get those laid out, but we're going to need nuclear power to handle it all. But that's a quick uh, update on what's been happening. So after I get this laid out and the loading station, because everybody's seen that one before, I will be back in two seconds. Presto changeo, got the unloading station done. I uh, have not changed the names on them. Uh, Eleanor Norix. Hmm, cool. Okay. But uh, I don't want to call in anything until I uh, get the array laid out. Now, thing is, one smelting array of this will produce nine per second. And, woo, that's going to take a lot. But I think it's a good place to start. But I also want to lay it out to where we can use all of these for all of in all of this area the uh, electric furnace arrays so um i mean granted i mean we could do 24 but i don't think 24 will fix i want to go and have them going from right to left and we need to come up here for the top load it and come back down so we'll start oh damn i forgot about this down here what if we start over here in this area and work our way going that direction. So, hmm, because we would only have to have it come across, split, and go down on each side and put the steel plate in the middle. Oh, so let's see here. We want it to go that direction and uh, we could bring it, damn, we could bring it pretty damn close. You know what? Okay, let's do this. We'll set this up. And I hope I brought enough materials with me to go across right here, right next to that. There, and that is connected. So then if we take splitter, drop it there. Oh, nope. And take the array. Oh, that's and how far down can we go we go i want to go right next to the rail line and one more is that going to hit you know what let's do this we'll curl this down can we curl it nope it'll have to go there okay so right there that's the low point right there so then, we bring this up right there. Shift click, everything's going in the direction, right to left, and drop. Oh, and I only brought enough for one array. So that's what I'll do now, and uh, probably build the rest later on. Oh, oh crap, 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 turn the bat bots off. One thing I forgot to check was, um, let's see here. We've got 72 furnaces bringing the stuff in. It'll be, yeah, 45 iron plates. Hmm. Per second coming in. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Woo! Yep, one line coming in. Can handle everything. There we go. Okay, now turn the bots back on. 
Go through here, lay this out. Yeah, let the bots do their thing. You know, what if we just ride there? Yeah, we can help it along. Oh, or not. We'll let the bots do everything. See, I just want to get it built. I'm waiting for the faster robot speeds. Oh, and that was the other thing. As soon as we get into the production, we can get worker uh, robot cargo size so they carry more. And then when we get the utility science pack, we can get back into worker robot speed. Oh, little by little, we're getting there. And then the game will just keep ramping up. And the long-term goal, uh, let's see here. I had it set up, um, boom, boom, or maybe not quite. Is it, uh, 45 space science pack per second. That's what I'm shooting for. And again, hopefully everything doesn't get all screwed up and then have to restart. But I think this time with the grid laid out, even if I do make a mistake somewhere, we can just keep expanding, keep dropping stuff, uh, finding more efficient builds, getting things going and uh yeah start launching the crap out of rockets Oop. all right there furnace is laid out and it doesn't look like anything's missing nope just the robo ports okay now we'll take this right there how, how close can we get nope Okay, right there. So. Ooh, but if we take the second one, lay it out there. Ooh, you know what? Let's lay them out right now, just so we kind of know where we're going. So if we take this. All right, like that. There we go. And we'll put it right there. You know what? Let's turn the bots off. I'm just putting this down here to show where we need to be. And see how many we can get in here. I'm not too concerned about it being centered. Just trying to go for as many arrays as we can here. And all right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. We can bring that in. I was looking at the rail signal. It's going to miss it. We'll do that one. That one. Damn. And it looks like one more. Oh, ooh, nice time for a game save. And I think I got the cliff explosives on me. Yeah, I do. Well, we're going to have to get rid of those anyways. And right there. Okay. Damn, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Now, according to the factorial calculator. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see here with 72 electric furnaces per array and we've got nine of them that's 648 electric furnaces for a grand total of 81 steel plate per second as soon as everything is built and everything is running i hope that'll do quite nicely so now let's connect up this first one Actually, yeah, yep, yep, because if we have that load balancer, we'll pull it off evenly. So if we just cook up one at a time, so let's see it one, two, three, four. So that one would be right in here in this. And the fifth one, this one, will be starting to come from that line right there. All right. Let's lay this out a little bit so we know exactly where we're going. And if 
we take this to there. Alright. Yep. I got it. We'll get this up. Oh, maybe not quite that far. And, oh, this is going to be interesting, but we should still be able to put one right there. Oh, you know what? Let's move this chain signal right there. Take this to right there. Oop, and this is going to have to come out. Two. Uh, this will be... Well, I don't know where that one's going to come out. That's why we're laying it out now. Okay, so if we take that to there. So one, two, three, four. There it is. Fifth one is going to be right there. All right. Now, two, three, four, five. We'll bring this fourth one. We'll have it come straight out and down. Yes! Just missed number five. Sweet. Okay, now we know this is going to be coming down. Ooh. Right there. That'll be right there. Uh, we won't be flirting with the rails. Oh well. Okay, now. We got one, two, four. There we go. That's how I count. So one, two, three, four. Going into one, two, three, four. We got it. And now this one. There. Okay, now let's call this. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna put a train limit of one. And we'll call this. Iron plate drop off. Yep. Got the ore. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, you know what? We've already got that one. Boom, right there. Iron plate drop off. And we'll assign it. And here comes our first one inbound. Right there. Okay. And just in case, we'll disconnect that and that. Okay, bum, bum, bum. copy, Oop, let's turn on some bots. Oop, yeah, click. Okay, tell you what. All right, I'm gonna go set up the un the loading station, and I'll see everybody in two seconds. Welcome back. All right, I went ahead and did it. I built everything out. Had some trains coming in. Let's see, is anybody assigned to that one? Nope, not yet. It's not loaded. That one's not loaded, and that one was only got one of two. Okay, but we've got plate in. The chests over here enough to demonstrate what I have done I went ahead and did it okay here we go let's follow the river of steel or iron plate iron plate all right ooh that's a cool little design come on guys charge and get in hurry before I turn there we go uh, to keep everything even I put in eight steel furnace arrays yeah, uh, eight's easier to work with because we have the, um, whatchamacallit, the three 
There are little loading stations at the other end, which is 24 lanes. And the math is really easy for uh, 8 and 24. 24 divided by 8 is 3, so 3 lanes out, outbound or inbound of iron coming here. And then we've got 8 lanes here to go into 12. Uh, yeah, it's not balanced, but hey, it'll distribute it. it. I'm okay with it. It works. But I really like the looks of this uh, river of product going on here. But So we've got these going away and boom, coming in here to this, to the unloader or the loading station. Oh my gosh, yeah. It, this has been a long session for me. You know what? But let's help it out. I'll take another sip of Mountain Dew Rise. And there we have it. Steel coming in. And boom, boom, boom. Yep, all 12 uh, cargo wagons are starting to be loaded. Now, here is the stats on this build. Boom, 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 boom. We have 576 electric furnaces. That it comes out to 72 steel plate per second. However, we need 576 iron plate furnaces. Well, guess what? Right now, the ore patches that I've tapped into we only have 360 so oh, ba, 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 let's see here 360 that means right now we can only handle 45 per second continuously non-stop it's a good start uh, this is a nice layout. We can use this for quite a while as we tap into like that iron deposit, that one. Um, let's see, eventually get out to some of these other ones. Uh, I think we got everything that was within our reach. Oh, there's one, two, three, and that's it. So three more patches. So the steel furnace array will last quite a while for us and there it is you know what oh man yeah I, I'm gonna call it 45 per second uh, even though it's coming out a hell of a lot faster right now but it will keep doing its thing oh yeah right there boom all right thank you for joining me on this journey in Factorio and as always enjoy life and be safe And drink the dew.